So, so dolls, it's Prozer Pin. Welcome back to my channel for another speed building video. Today I will build a modern suburban. It's the very first time I'm building one, so please bear with me. I'm trying to figure out the floor plan for both floors. But I'm scared for the roof plan because I'm horrible at roofing. This is gonna be a small family house. I'm building this house for the Anderson family who just moved to Hanford and Bagley. The story of this family is kind of tragic, but also very inspirational. The parents are newly wed and love each other very much, no matter how different they are. The main character is the older daughter, Mabel. She is an independent young adult, a workaholic who studies history in order to become an archaeologist. But she is also the breadwinner of the house. Her father, Moses, has a serious problem with alcohol. He is also way too lazy to work and very conservative. Valeria is the mother who, who wants to work and be independent, but her husband wants her to be a housewife. She has no choice but to accept and she does her best to help her older daughter Mabel as much as she can. And the star of the family is the teenage girl Kylie. She is very problematic and doesn't do her chores nor listens to anyone. But she is a very popular teenager in high school and surprisingly with very good grades. I'm trying to figure out the yard, but I'm improvising since I have no idea for now what I'm going for. I'm always desperately looking for neutrals and wish we had more shades. I almost like this brown, but I can't stand the white strand on it. This wallpaper is better for the interior, but however, it's the best I've found, so I'm keeping it. Now, I'm gonna add the windows that I picked. I'm surrounding the entire house with windows, which is a bad idea since I haven't entirely figured the floor plan. Oh no. I have put some of the windows very low. Let's put some trees around to get an idea of the, of the landscaping. Of course, I'll pick the fairy tree. It's time to do the kitchen. I envision a black and white kitchen with cabinets from Dreamcom Decorator. I must add the upper cabinets too. Then let's add some clutter, like the bread box, a fruit bowl, a teapot, etc. Then let's add the fire alarm, because I always forget it. Now I need to find a black and white wallpaper. I don't like this one, so I'll change it later, don't worry. I'm gonna add some aprons, then I'm gonna pass on to the dining room. I'll do it in the same color duo, and add a meal with spices. I need to add some more decoration in this small space to make it feel more lived. Maybe some plants. Yeah, definitely plants. I just need to find which ones. Then I'll show the simple black and white wallpaper. Let's pass on to the study. I'll firstly add the bookshelves and the, then fill them with clutter. I'll add some at the entry too when I'm still in the clutter section, like shoes, a coat rack, etc. I'm gonna add some more clutter to the bookshelves, then I'm gonna add this beautiful plant, I think it's from Dream Home Decorator, before moving on to the living room. I had to add a fireplace to make this house feel cozy. I will also add a huge TV so the Andersons don't get bored. I'll first the living room in the same color scheme because I just love the classic black and white. Now I gotta add carpets everywhere because I forgot them. Next I'll add an armchair to the study. I love the coffee table from Dream Home Decorator because it's the style I'm going for. I love this sofa from the Vintage Glamour, it's perfect. I also forgot to add the pet style because the Andersons want to adopt a cat. I love how the living room ended up with a cute end table. It just needs a cat bed. I placed the cat tree behind the stairs because I have no idea how to fill the space. I'm gonna add some art pieces all around the house, beyond the cat tree, in the hallway, etc. I could put a computer and a guitar behind the stairs to fill up more dead space. Now it's time to choose the wallpapers. Then I'll put an easel in the en at the entry, but I shouldn't have done that. I don't know why I chose to put it there. 
It's time to decorate the bedroom with high school years bed and add a vintage glamour nightstand. I'll add some dream home decorator shelves so I can add some clothing and make it more lit. Next to the clothes, I'll put a wall mirror and a cat bed. A vintage gramophone will add a romantic touch to the parents' bedroom. Now, let's add some neutral paintings. It's time to do the flooring all around the house. Now we'll move to the younger sister's bedroom and use again the high school years bed and, I, and a nightstand. Next I'll add the pink art deco dresser from the same pack and find a corresponding mirror. Kylie is a teen, she needs a computer, but I'll add also a teddy bear right next to it. I'm gonna put the car outside. Now we'll, we'll add some eco lifestyle planters on the wall. Also but butterflies and two hearts above Kylie's bed before passing on to the next room. Now we'll, we'll color all the walls upstairs. Now we'll furnish and decorate the bathroom. I added a shelf with towels and bath clutter. I chose the bathtub from the Dream Home Decorator pack, just like the counters and the bathroom sink. Now I'm gonna add the toilet and the mirror. I also added a matching rug for the bathtub. Now I'm looking for decorations in the hallway. I'll add an old music notes notebook and a chest full of musical material. Next, I'll add some candles and flowers to the bed to make it look more cozy and romantic. Now in the hallway, I'll put a piano because Valeria, the mother, loves playing when she's home alone. Now I picked a wallpaper. It's time to put the curtains all around the house. This is gonna take some time because I have to choose different curtains for each room. And I have so many windows. I'm almost done with downstairs. Now let's add some more flowers and paint paintings to the staircase space upstairs and add the last curtains to the bedrooms upstairs This family has a graveyard right outside their yard. The tombs are from the previous owners who died in a fire. Some neighbors say that the house is haunted, but the Andersons don't believe in supernatural things. We shall see through time if something is really going on with this house. We'll add some fairy lights to embellish the front yard. I just need to move them around to make them centered with the car. I'm almost done. Now it's time to clutter completely the inside right after decorating a bit the graveyard. Let's clutter the kitchen, the living room, the upstairs space. I'm almost done, I promise. I'm just a little bit more clutter and I'm done with can I added the canvases. Now it's time to do the roof. I'm trying other roof colors, but I only like the brown one I had first, so I'm gonna put it back. It's time to do the landscaping with bushes and flowers. I'll put them all around the front yard. I chose also lavender and pink flower bushes.
Now let's add some relaxing space near the other entry, right next to the graveyard, because you can't find a better place to relax than near a graveyard. I also added some spooky statues to, to make the graveyard look prettier. Now I'm trying to make a pond, but I'm having some trouble with the pond too because EA changed something. I didn't have any problem before. I don't know why it's not working now. Maybe it's a glitch, but we'll make it for sure. I'm filling with water, then I'm gonna landscape it. I'm gonna add some fishies, some flies, some fireflies, some ducks, and then surround the pond with rocks. Now it's time to finish the landscaping with some dirt all around the house. Now let's make another relaxing space and add a grill next to the pond. It's a beautiful view. I'm gonna add some more landscaping behind in the backyard and lastly add some crops behind the house and some bicycles in the front. Thank you for watching, subscribe if you like my content and stay tuned for another speed building video.